Hi everyone, so I'm here with what I like to call makeup talk. And makeup talk is when we talk about different things related to makeup. Sounds pretty obvious, right? This time, on the first installment of makeup talk, I wanted to talk to you guys about Melt Cosmetics. So Melt Cosmetics is this amazing indie makeup company. Um, it's um, founded by two girls on Instagram. Lori and Dana and you should follow if you're not following Melt Cosmetics you should follow them on Instagram so what everyone loves 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 about Melt is their lipsticks they have the most amazing matte pigmented lipsticks that last all day I'm actually wearing right now dark matter and summer so I'm going to show you the ones that I have this one is summer and it's this really cool peach color. Let's swatch it on my arm. That is summer. Now I did mix summer in with a little bit of dark matter, so let's do one more swatch. Dark matter free. Okay, dark room free. Okay, so this one right here, this is summer. Now, I also have Shady Lady, which is a really, really pretty pink fuchsia color. And I'm going to swatch that one for you guys, too. And that's going to be that one right here. Okay, so we got Summer. We got Shady Lady. So I also have DGAF. Now, let me talk to you guys about DGAF. Because obviously you know what it stands for, don't give up. But I was in love when I first saw it because it was this amazing blue, blue, rich blue color. And I was like, oh my God. I don't know if I can pull off the lipstick, but I have to have, have to have this lipstick. And so I waited because it was sold out on the first batch. And I was like, oh, I missed it. And then the next time their lipsticks were relaunched, DJF was in stock and I was like oh my god I'm gonna get it so I ordered it it came in the mail and it looks like this and I was kind of bummed because I don't know about you guys but this looks purple to me and I'm gonna swatch it for you guys to see look it's purple and even when I like wore it on my lips it was still super purple and I was like oh what is up with that but I love the purple color but it's just not that blue that I expected and then I went and I looked back and some people that got their DJ up it's really blue and some people that got it it looks purple I don't know if maybe it looks different colors on different skin tones or if maybe there was multiple batches made and those that got it in the first batch got, got it true to color. And those that got the second batch, maybe it's a little bit different. But I was a little bummed. I still kept it. I didn't send it back because I love their lipsticks. And I love the color that was sent to me. But I was disappointed because it wasn't blue. Okay, also I have Stupid Love. I love Stupid Love because it's a beautiful hot pink. Very similar to Candy Yum Yum by MAC Cosmetics, if you guys are familiar with that one. Okay, so I'm going to swatch it for you. And this one right here is Stupid Love. And you see how much brighter it is than the Shady Lady? And you see how that just looks blue? It looks purple, not blue. So bummed so bummed okay and then the last one that I have is dark room dark room was like this limited edition shade that was created by Lori and Dana because Lori was getting married and she wanted this amazing they they described it as this espresso like just rich and full of color like a burnt deep vampy color and she was getting married and it was like this limited edition color and it was named after where her and her husband met and I was so excited because it looks so beautiful and this is the color and it looks so vampy and amazing right but I'm gonna swatch it for you guys 
I feel like the color payout is not as vampy as it should be. Here it is down here. Now compare that next to it. I feel like this is so much darker and vampy and sexy. And I feel like this color payoff just doesn't do it. At Estee Lauder, we have a color called Insolent Plum. And it's exactly just like this. And I'm like, oh, I could have just got that from work. Um, but I do love mixing dark room with summer, like how I'm wearing now. So that's the main reason why I kept it. I love the color that it comes out. But I was really disappointed that it wasn't the color in the pictures. But their lipsticks aren't bad. Their lipsticks are $19 each. They're very matte. They're the type of lipsticks that you put them on and you totally forget that you're wearing them. And by the end of the night, you get your 12-hour wear at them. By the end of the night, you're like scrubbing them off because you're trying to get it off and you're trying to go to bed. But your lipstick is still on. And that's a good thing. That's a good thing. They're $19. They're worth the money. They're worth it. But for future reference, maybe I would buy one of the colors that everyone already has. Um, like the summer, the stupid love, the shady lady. Um, the limited edition ones or the really, really, really deep ones. I don't know. They just haven't been working out for me and that's why I haven't got them. They have two crazy colors, like a gray color and a green color. I believe blow and Bane. And I haven't gotten them because I just don't want to be disappointed by the color of them. If it's not the same way that, um, I'm imagining it to be and then I get you know, so do a little research, see what kind of colors you're into. If you guys are wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes, I am wearing the Dark Matter Stacks by Melt. Okay, so let's talk about these stacks. These stacks were $48, which I, it can sound a little pricey considering that, like, the Naked Palette is, like, 52 bucks, like, right around there. It may sound a little bit pricey, but I want to tell you guys... These things are huge. I was so surprised when I got it in the mail. They are huge. They're twice the size as like a MAC Cosmetics eyeshadow. They're huge. And I was like, wow, these are like really, really worth it. So I want to talk to you guys about the packaging. They come in the stack like this, right? So in the top stack, it comes with a cute little mirror. What a cute, awesome idea, right? And they're all magnetic. They all stick together that way. So let's talk about the shades that are here in the dark matter. The first shade that comes on top, now don't mind, I did wet it by accident. That's why it looks like that in the middle. It's not going to look like that when you get it. The first shade that comes that it comes with is blur, right? And I'm going to swatch it for you guys, put it on the back of my hand. I don't know if you'll really, let me see, be able to see it, kind of, right here. But it is a really, really great and amazing transition color. So it, the color payouts on these are really, really, really great. The next one that I'm going to show you, which is like absolutely one of my favorites, is Unseen. And I'm going to swatch it. So that one pulls up. A lot of these colors, which is why I like them, they're very similar to, like, my skin tone. Um, so I can see them amazingly well. It's kind of hard for me to translate that onto video. But they're very, very pigmented. They're creamy. They blend amazingly well together. And you got to give them their props for the innovative packaging for them being magnetic and how cute they look together. The next one that I have in there is Enigma, right? And it is such a great color. I love this one for a crease color. It just has the right amount of warmth and pop to it. I'm going to swatch it for you guys. So you'll be able to see. Okay, you see, kind of see the first one there. Second, third. This one is like one of my all-time favorites. And then last but not least, we have Dark Matter, which is the most creamiest black I've seen and I've used in a long 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 time 
this black blends so well but really stays it has like a really really great staying power which is not an easy thing to come by because I feel like blacks that I've used from other companies are just not black enough or have a gray cast as the day goes on so this one is really great and I've also used it wet and the intensity that it picks up on makes it so much worth the money so the only complaint that I have about these stacks is because of this, the fact that they're magnetic and they all like stack on top of each other, I kind of feel like, and I don't know if you can see it, but I kind of feel like the containers and like the bottom of them get all messy because you stack them on top of each other and now if I have loose powder here, it gets here. Um, you know, you can you can see them there. So that's only really the main complaint that I have about them. I think the packaging is so cute, so innovative. I can throw them like right in my bag. I can know if I leave them on my in my cosmetic stand, they're not going anywhere. When I need one, I can just grab the whole entire thing. Sometimes I like to I'm going to put the makeup on, sometimes I like to make fun little shapes out of them when I go to use them cuz the magnets in them. Um overall as a brand, I love Melt Cosmetics as a brand. If we were putting it on some kind of like grading scale from maybe a 1 to 10, I would put them at like an 8.5. Only because of the two that I've had that the color payoff in them is not the same that I was really expecting. But I'm still really satisfied and really, really happy with the products. Um, I recommend you get one for yourself. Uh, maybe eventually in the future they'll have these singly. I don't know how that's going to be sold when they're all magnetics. But I've heard people complain that they're a little bit too pricey. I personally don't think so. Um, you get your bang for your buck with these. But again, that's just my own personal opinion. And that's what I'm sharing with you guys. So there's going to be plenty more of makeup talks to come. Make sure that you subscribe down below. You follow me on Instagram. It's at Elizabeth Weeks, and that's W-E-E-K-E-S. Please like this video, and then there's plenty more to come. Really quick, I just want to show you guys my t-shirt. Okay, I can kind of stand up so you can see. It says, India taught me. That's India Ari, because some people was like, India, the planet India? No, India Ari. Okay, think about it. Think about it. I'm not my hair. Got it? I'll see you guys next.